Hello, um, today we're going to do a demonstration on hum. I get a lot of people ask questions about RF hum on transmitters and do they hum, how can I reduce the hum. Um, and so what we're going to do, we're going to start off with a few demos. Um, when you buy a transmitter from us, we already do what we can this end to reduce the hum. And uh, we actually use uh, special RF friendly power supplies. Um, and to demonstrate the difference between a normal power supply and the power supplies that we supply with our transmitters, uh, I'm going to turn this radio on and we're going to use several power supplies. So I'll turn the radio on now. Right, so our first power supply is your typical $5 um, power supply you know, from eBay or wherever you get it from. Now as you can hear, that hum's pretty loud, um, very loud in fact, and that's what a lot of people experience when they get transmitters and stuff. Um, so one logical conclusion might be to try a more beefy power supply, but the actual amount of current that the power supply can supply isn't really the answer here. And what I, I'll show you what I mean by that, so we're going to unplug this one. Now this one is a larger, this is a 2 amp hard drive power supply, so it's pretty meaty, it's able to give a lot of current, but it still gives a lot of hum too. So the, the hum isn't caused by whether the power supply is meaty enough or not, it's caused by RF getting into the main supply. So what we're going to do now, we're going to plug in the power supply that we supply of our transmitters. Okay, these are a bit more expensive, but they are really, really good. So I'm going to unplug this and plug in our power supply. And as you can hear, the hum's been greatly reduced. It's just now a little tiny background buzz. Now then, even that tiny background buzz uh, is actually not produced by the power supply now. We've got rid of the, the power supply buzz by using our supply power supply which greatly yeah, reduces it but there's still that little niggling background buzz if I turn the volume up quite a bit you can actually now hear the, the buzz but the interesting thing is if I now plug a battery in so we've got our radio running on batteries therefore eliminating mains pickup we're now going to run a transmitter from batteries eliminating mains pickup and guess what you've guessed it the hum's still there um, now the, the hum that you get is actually caused by the mains wiring in the house. Um, so what I'll do, if I plug uh, in our power supply again. Okay. Now then, this is the interesting thing. Um, if you have to use the transmitter in an area where there's a lot of electrical stuff or mains wiring, uh, you can actually get rid of the hum just by a little bit of repositioning. So here uh, you can hear, if I just turn the power up a little bit, you can hear the hum on the radio. But if I turn the radio around, have a listen. The hum's getting louder, quieter, louder, quieter, you get like hum spots. So the idea really is to actually try and find the best position of the transmitter on the radio where you don't get the hum. So hear loud hum, turn the radio around just slightly and the hum gets quieter, louder, really loud here, quiet, loud. Now what we've got, we've got the volume turned all the way up, so normally this hum when you're playing music you're not going to notice, but this is just to demonstrate the fact that if you do have a bit of hum like that, all you need to do, turn the radio around a little bit and the hum goes. So it's not really a major issue, you just turn your radio around a little bit and it gets rid of it. Now what a lot of people do, a lot of enthusiasts who are really serious about their broadcasting, they actually put the transmitter outside, either in a weatherproof box or in like a shed or something, or somewhere where there isn't any mains wiring. So what we're going to do now is take this into a shed which has no mains wiring in it, and I'll show you the difference. Okay, so we're now broadcasting in a shed 
and listen. Absolutely no harm at all. In fact, yeah, with the volume right up, you can hear a little bit of background noise generated by the radio. Absolutely no harm. Um, and a method to use if you really want to eliminate harm, as I say, would be to run the transmitter outside, away from any mains wiring, and just have your audio running along the garden or whatever into the house, and you should have a pretty clean signal. So hopefully this answers some questions about harm and will help with your setup of the transmitter. Thank you for watching.